Hey man, it's your boy One Tay Reef, and you tuned in with Rock and Roll. Get at him. I'm just cruising down, oh, right. Yeah. And I'm feeling yeah. all right. What, what, what? And I'm feeling all right. Hey man, y'all already know you tuned in to another episode of Rock and Roll. And who we got today? Man, you got your boy One Tay Reef, man. You can get me on all platforms Snapchat is not One Tay Reef, Facebook, Day Day Reef, IG, One Tay Reef, number one, T A K E R W E L. For sure, for sure. And one take reef, bro. Where you from? See, I'm really from York, South Carolina, you feel me? But I came back to Rock Hill like as I got older and graduated from Northwestern, you feel me? But York my hometown, you already know. Word, so you say you um don't y'all call it the yo? Yeah, the yo, you already know. The yo, so what part of York you from? I'm from Bucktown, man. Bucktown. Yeah. I don't know Bucktown that you gotta kinda get it. Bucktown, me. like Bucktown the opposite side of Cali in the valley. Okay. Yeah. So Word. It's right there. It's right there by Uptown York. Really. Okay. Okay. Cause I mean, I actually grew up in York. Um, summertime I used to be on Church Street. Yeah. You know, my dad actually stayed in York, so I had I got some memories back in York, man. So shout out to the yo, man. Man, straight from the yo, man. Man, so what type of stuff be going on in Bucktown? Man, it's crazy. I mean, it depends on like the environment, or it can be good vibes, or shit. It can go left. You feel me? It's really up to you how you want to go about it. Like, it just. It depends on like, say if you know, we having a function, you feel me? Somebody see somebody they don't like, it can go left. But really, it's all love in the city for real, though. Word, cause y'all be having a lot of cookouts and block parties and stuff. Y'all still be having that? Oh yeah, they still do that. I think they but they supposed to be doing something this summer down in the valley. Still be in the valley or either Cali. But I seen some. I seen the flyer posted recently though that they talking about doing something. Else. For sure, cause it seems like a lot of people in York like it, it's it's family oriented. Oh yeah, for sure. Everybody love each other. You feel me? Like. It, it ain't always about me. They always try to say, oh, if you up Cali, you Cali. Or if you up the Valley, you the Valley. Nah, like, it's people from different sections that rock with each other, you feel me? So. Right, for sure. And you say you, um, your name is One Take Reef. So what is One Take? Oh. And what is Reef? So how I got the One Take, you feel me? I was in the studio. First, my name was King Reef. King so Reef. So then I went to the studio one day. My engineer was like, man, you really be One Take and stuff. Like, I like how you operate. Like, you come here, you be prepared. So I was like, shit, fuck it. I'm gonna rock with that one take shit. That's when I came with one take reef. Reef, and my last name, Dereef. So that's how I got the reef. Oh, okay. You feel me? But the one take to me, I got that because I got my own little label. I got an LLC for my label. It's called One Take Legend. And yeah. so what it means to me is you get one take, you get one chance, you get one lifestyle. So live it up to the fullest. Word, I like that. Yeah, see, I, I got my own brain and all. Word, bro, I ain't gonna even lie, man. I was um, being judged, man. I thought one take was a game. Oh, nah, nah. Ain't no game. It's, it's me, man. Word. Me and my brother. That's it. Where I had seen your YouTube page and it was under One Take Legends. Yeah, One Take Legends. Yeah, so now, since we're talking about your YouTube page, man, let's get into the music, bro. So, when was the first time you started doing music? I probably started doing music, see, about 2013. That's, that's when I was, like, I was playing around with it. You mm -hmm. see, as a young dude, I was in middle school playing around with it. 2016, I lost JT. That's when I he got my first little bug. Yeah. I dropped this video called Long Live JT. Nigga JT, he killed my nigga JT. I swear it's hard to believe. Why you playing around with heat? Why you playing around with heat? You took a brother away from me. That night I didn't sleep. I lost my mind about a week. But now I'm strong as can be. That's what he wanted out of me. That's what he wanted out of me. So now I'm strong as can be. I dropped my old video for that. And then like everybody started riding away and they was on me. And after that, I just kept dropping back to back. So that was your first song? No, nah, I had a, a song. I had a song before that. Okay. But like I really, like I said, I was playing around with it. But when I really got serious with it was when JT died, and that's when I started making videos, started making songs for real, and started putting it out there like I wanted to be known. Like. Word. And JT is actually my little cousin too. Yeah. You know, so uh, man, long live JT, man. So, yeah. what was the inspiration behind that record? Like, who was JT to you? So I met him my freshman year, to be honest, and we just clicked up. Like, who's we was really like close, close as hell. Yeah. And so like, I looked up to him, he looked up to me, you feel me? And like, it's crazy cause the day all that joint happened, like I would text him, but I was sick. We was supposed to all go out, there, out together that night. I was yeah. sick, I had caught the flu. Damn. And then, so it was like, it hurt me like when I had got that call, cause I had went to sleep, woke up, and it was just like, damn, my boy gone. And he was like a real brother to me. Like not even my blood, but he was like my real brother for real. Yeah, so like on some everyday you gotta talk yeah, to him like type we talk, stuff. We talk to each other like he the only one that said day day a certain way. And it's like I don't even get to hear that no more. Yeah. Walking through class, like my mom was like his my mama, he was like my mama's son, basically. Like yeah. when we was at Northwest to walk through the halls, we used to go see my mama off together and eat lunch. Like, oh your mama worked at the school? Yeah. 
Where is it? How was that? Hey, that joint was, that was a life. Like, it was smooth. You feel me? But at the end of the day, like, people look at me like, oh, I got to hold myself to a certain standard because my mom worked at the school. You feel mm -hmm. me? But just because that's my mom, you know, I still got life to live too. You know what I'm saying? So everybody thought, oh, Oh, he, he a good kid, good kid. I mean, I am a good kid, but I also ain't perfect. So Word. mistakes don't happen, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with being a good kid, by yeah, the way, yeah, man. Facts. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, it's because sure. a lot of black males get a perception of you got to be a certain type of way. Facts. Man, we work hard to bring our kids out of poverty for one. So That's if mom fact. dukes work hard to put you in a level where, you know, a lot of people can't put their children in. Yep. Man, I got to salute that. Word. So let's get back into that music, though. Um, So... You said you started experiencing with the music back in middle school. Yeah. What was your first rap name? Uh, my first rap name, probably uh, King Dizzy, I think. King Dizzy? Yeah, I don't even know where I got that from. <laughs> I swear, though, I just came over, so I, it was definitely King Dizzy, though. King Dizzy? Yeah. And so I know you said the, um, the video that you did for JT, that was your second video. So what was your first video? Oh, uh, it was a song called Faded. Uh, I was with a group called Swag Kids. Swag Kids. Yes. Yeah. Everybody should know uh, King Yurk and boys from Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah my boy, though. I, I started making music with him, like in his house. Okay. That's how it all started on Civil Circle. We was over there making music. So with Cap? Yeah, all that. Yeah, and, and my boys there. Word. Was, that, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. I know Um, even like back then, was that around the time when you did the record testimony? Yeah, I did testimony around the time, around that time. I think that created the buzz too, though. Testimony is pretty tough, but that long live JT set it out for me, though. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? I, I did see you back in the day with the testimony joint. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing that video from back in the day. I was like, okay, who this is? Hey, okay, I like your sound, like you got that voice. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know what? One of my favorite records is Beast Mode. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yo, yo, what up, Mo? What up? Hey, how you doing, Mo? Chill, man. You good? Yeah. Hey, what's up with your man? Yeah. Crazy. I don't know. Hey, what the hell going on? Beast mode. Cause I am the hottest. They wanna see how I'm rocking, but I ain't stopping. I need a fake cool me. Y'all say my name, I'm the topic. If I tell him to get him, he sick him. Never get coffee, cause niggas play victim. What? Take a stand on your man with a pencil. Writing your statements ain't getting credentials. Right. Shake it twirl like I'm Reggie Bush. Hella right. gas, you smoking on hella cush. Get it past, you can't even come to this. From my block to your block, I got hella push. I'm on it. But niggas, they know what I'm on. Fuck all that talking shit, I get you gone. I'm going straight beast mode, locked in. Nobody the fuck on my phone. See why I'm at, you gon' hate when I'm on. You let me out, I don't be calling my phone. When I get up on my feet, bitch, I'm gon' take off like a rocket, I did it alone. Mode. By two fucks, I give zero Better find me like me, mode Little but go hard like Kiko You know, you know, you know. Check, check the temperature, I got a fever Diamonds, Kobe, I might break your meter Close your eyes, it's too bright, it's a seize OG like a reader, they envy me Man, you gotta push that yeah. harder, bro Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, man I'm trying to get everybody to really listen and tune in I got a, actually got a video shoot coming in June, I'm finna drop a little video called uh, To Root and Records. Mikey Brand. Yeah. I have made a song okay. for him. I feel like that's probably my hardest song that I'm finna drop. But Beast Mode, I've been trying everything in my power to get that song out. Like, even, I had a show, I had a showcase that I won in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And I had, like, them. yeah, I had uh, the radio people on Hit Me Up talking about, man, you need to get a clean version of this, clean version of this. So the dude I made the song with, he was supposed to make my clean version, but it didn't meet the... Uh, qual the qualifications of the radio station so she was like she basically like gave up on me you feel me because yeah. when i asked him to get the clean version i guess it went up to her potential yeah so she kind of like gave up on me so that's when i like went down on myself and that's why i was like now i gotta start off from scratch so now any song i make now i got a clean version to it like that date like definitely just, just because i can't have no more slip ups with no radio station word and then you know another thing uh which i tell a lot of artists i always keep your session files even though, you know, like, you said you were doing it when you were younger, so yeah. it's probably, you know, you go see your partner studio, you mm -hmm. just record, you ain't really too much thinking about it, but if you got all those waves, we can always go back in to clean it up, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, the best thing to do, what I started doing is I took a USB drive, Yeah. You know? and so, like, I get him to import my my beat and my the verses, all that, like, separately to yeah. my file, so if I need to get it clean, I can just send it like that instead of sending it as one. 
big old like line for sure. script. You feel me? So they can really work with something. For sure, man. Yeah. Man, I can't get off beast mode. Because one of them, <laughs> hey, one of them lines, bro, you said, never switch up like Rico on your people. Yeah. What you know about that? Man, that's, you already know what I know about that, man. I was, I was on that Mitchie shit heavy. Yeah. So, that's, that's what made me like it. Yeah, that Rico, man, that's unreal, though. People really do that, though. Like, right now, today, like, it's crazy. That's why you got to watch the company you keep. For sure. That's why now I don't even go nowhere. Like, I sit here and take care of my daughter all day, every day. Yeah. Because you never know, man. Bullets ain't got no name. Man. I got a family to feed. I can't. Definitely, man. Know. And then a lot of people just getting... A lot of people just wrong place one time, you know, you situations happening like that. So you ain't yep. necessarily got to even be in nothing or something to even happen to you. So, yeah, bro. That was crazy. Yeah, your baby mean more than anything out here. You know what I'm saying? It so, do. yeah. You do, for sure. Yeah, man. Then you got another record, um, Harder Than Hard. <laughs> like a style of nigga, ain't no chasing me. She just want to follow me because I'm going to make a shake free. Everybody trying to tell me all the places I can be. But it's 2020 lights out. Who shot that? Uh, foot shot that. Foot? Yeah, shot by foot. Man, shout out to Foot, man. Hey, that was hard too. Yeah, I've been working. I've been working with him for a little minute now. I was working with Cap, and then I was like, the only way I'm gonna get better is by networking with different people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I started working with Foot. So my next video, I'm probably about to do something with on um, the visuals by Frosty dude. Yeah, okay. I'm planning to tap in, tap in with him. Now, I've been interviewing a lot of people. A lot of people been, uh say, what's my man named Wavy? Mm -hmm. Oh, Wavy, yeah. He was. He actually was supposed to shoot my last video, the one I just uh, did. Hold on. Yeah. Wavy was supposed to shoot that one, but I forgot something came up, so I had to find foot last minute. Well, since we all hold on, because that was going to be the um, next one. So, hold on. Oh, my God, your baby's so pretty. Drink, Alec, while you wait. Daddy, wake up. I wanna be a rich young nigga with a rich lifestyle. Taking all my chances, my family, they proud. Keep my head up, pray to God, up and down Since don't know that's forever, I'm stuck deep in the clouds Hold on, hold on, hold on. Be, strong. be strong Be strong, Say hold on, yeah, dream on, dream on, dream on. I got my mind on the money, Wait. money all on my mind yeah. Money changing decisions and peace, it's hard to find But I'm focused, baby, I got dreams of coaching lately Can't control me, baby, better be smart when approaching, baby I'm a rock star, rock star Wait. And you niggas know it Damn. like your artist I can paint you a picture, sound like a pool Still nigga, nigga Think you slicker than me? No, I'ma score only my bad bitch slicker than me. That way she rolls. Thank you. That's she crazy. Is beautiful. She in that video. She ain't having hell done that day. Oh my God, she is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, thank you. For How real. many months since your? How old is she? She, she, she'll be one, July thirty. Word. Yeah. That's your first baby. Oh yeah. So how does it feel to be a father? It's smooth, man. People make it seem like it's hard, but really it's easy to me. It's a breeze, but like. The only way it's a breeze because I got a village helping me. Like you ain't got Word. no village. That's the only way it's gonna make it hard, but. It take a village to raise a kid for real. Well, let me ask you this question, sis. I know it's a lot of black fathers out here. You know, we got the stigma on black men. Do you go a day without talking to your daughter? No, I see my daughter every day. <laughs> every you couldn't day. imagine, could you? Nah, I ain't, I ain't no way. I don't know how people can do that. I be sick. Like, my mama just went out of town, took her out of town this past weekend. I was sick. Like For a weekend, bro? For, for a weekend. Like, literally, for two days. You was FaceTiming her? FaceTiming every day. She mama was like, stop calling. She good? No, I need to see my baby, bro. There's no way. And I know when she see you, she light up. Yeah, every time. I could bring outside right now, she'll light <laughs> Word. up. Word. I promise you. Word. She a girl dad. Oh, yeah, for sure. But it depends, though, because, like, at nighttime, she a girl dad. But in the daytime, she want her mama. Yeah. So it really just... It depends on it depends on her mood to be honest. Yeah. yeah. What's her name? Kenzie. Kenzie. Yeah. Well, look, yeah. Kenzie is so beautiful, bro. So yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure you keep grinding it. Go hard for Kenzie. Oh, yeah, I got to. That's mandatory. Well, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little something different because I'm into um politics. I'm also into world news and yeah. pop culture. I wanna ask some other questions. So 
recently there has been some mass shootings in the United States. I don't know if you're aware of those. Oh, yeah, for sure. But one of them was at Topps um, Supermarket that was in Buffalo, New York, mm -hmm. where a lot of black people got killed. Right. You seen that video? Yeah, I watched the video. Oh, my God. What was your opinion on that? That joint is sick. It's sick to me because you hear about all right, black people killing white people, but... Or you hear about black people being unarmed and getting killed by the police. Yeah. But they was able to walk a white man out in handcuffs with no injuries, no scratches, or nothing. That's just, it's disturbing to me the world that we live in right now. And that's just, that shit is sad. It's sad for real. Man, beyond sad. And yeah, then I'm speaking sad. of that, bro, they, they had this recent, just happened yesterday, a mass shooting at an elementary at the school. elementary school, like some kids. Like, How many a, was it? 19. 19. Oh, my God. 19. <laughs> 19. 19 people, man. Just think about it though, like me as a dad. I send my daughter to school and then I gotta come, I gotta, I come home thinking I'm finna go pick up again. Right. And I get a call saying, oh, somebody been shooting and now I'm on edge not knowing if it's my daughter or not. And people were waiting around for their That's kids crazy. and they ain't even know where the, their babies was at. I know how I feel to lose a child. I just lost my baby October 10th of 2021. No, um, she died um, in a car accident. No, sad, but. Man. Just seeing the pain on them parents' face, bro, like that thing is devastating. So do yeah. you think, because, you know, be real with you, the United States, it's the only people in the world that have mass shootings. I don't think y'all even thought about that. ISIS and all that, they just at war. Yeah, that's right. Though. That's, that's not fact. mass shooting. That, they that's, just at war. war. Yeah, they at war with other countries. Yeah. They not doing this within their own country. So do you think we need to get strict on these gun laws? I believe it. Cause now it's just like people careless, like yeah. People, it ain't even. I ain't gonna say people careless. People misguided, like that's right. what it is. Like even like the shooting rock kids, like mm -hmm. y'all got little kids with guns. Like these kids, 16, 16 years old. You feel me? I'm twenty three. I just got my first gun. Yeah. When I turned what 22, 21, something like right, that. Right, right. I just got my first gun. So you feel me? Like why is y'all sending these little dudes on missions to do something? Mm -hmm. Like. Just if y'all already know the game, teach them a better way to do it. You feel me? And so, since you saying it's like younger teenagers having guns, like sixteen years old, that way it is. do you think it should be heavy armed security at these schools? I feel like that now. That's just like no western now. Like when I first went, there wasn't no gate around there. That whole premise is gated. Like everything, gated? yeah, no western is gated. It's only one way in and one way out now. Oh wow, yeah, you, you was gotta, never like that, dirt. Nah. Mm -hmm. That joint is gated now. Like, I try to go because my mom still work there. So like when I go to see her, mm -hmm. I gotta go through a front office, go through a gate. Just to get, I gotta like talk through a window first before they even let me in the gate. Okay. Yeah. So like at a certain time, like okay, it's it's like four different entrances, mm -hmm. but like at a certain time they close. So then you gotta go in one way, out one way. You know what Word. I'm so, well, I agree. I agree with you know heavy armed security, especially what's going on right now yeah. in today's society. I feel like it's a lot of copycats. People see stuff online, they're like, oh, well, I want to do this. People are dying for clout. Like, believe it or not, like, they got to kill them people at the grocery store. Like, they got to kill them kids at the yeah, elementary yeah. school. Yeah. We're saying their names now. I'm not going to say their name, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they're becoming relevant. Mm -hmm. So, people die for that clout, man. And that's going to say it, though. And then, so, what you, have you been keeping up with um the whole thug and gunner? Rico case and yeah, not kind of but not really like I ain't really been too tuned in with it but okay I personally feel like because I I can see I can, I kind of feel like what you want to get it I I feel like rap music shouldn't shouldn't determine what you say in the court like yeah at all because it's rap it's music yeah and I, I believe like the artist when you become a mainstream artist now don't get me wrong you still in the trenches with it yeah this this like YSL Young Slime Life yeah. It's an organization. Don't get me wrong. But they, people think, yeah, like people think, if you got a name to your joint, they feel like everything is a game now. Just like how, how yeah, I saw one yep, take was. Yep, they think you feel me? A game. And the only reason why I say that because like now, what if you got a lot of copycats? Because I remember when Chicago was like the most popular thing when y'all was coming up. Right. A lot of people was naming they self after like oh uh, Rondo yeah. number nine number. You know, like all they was it. doing all that. Yep. They was OTF, only the family. So you got copycats out here rocking another man's gang. So now it look like a, a worldwide, a worldwide organization. Yep. Everybody was saying slam, slam. Everybody you, saying, you they still saying to this day. You feel me? That that was just really yeah. thug them off of Cleveland Avenue. Uh -huh. That didn't supposed to make it to Charlotte, yeah. Rock Hill. Was to do that. that was just all in Atlanta. 
And I really feel like they finna sting them boys. Oh no, nah, they definitely they black too, black artists who is who is like really achieving out here and accelerating. Like they finna eat them boys up. And you know they want, the they love it, they love it. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. The system love it, they love to see it. And and it wasn't like Thug with the type of person that didn't mind sharing his wealth with people who he grew up with. If you look at that man's background, it's everybody from his neighborhood. Yep. And so he getting in trouble for that. And that's what I was talking. I was talking about it with somebody else the other day. I was like, um, I was telling myself like, why the feds? I hate how the feds work. They want to study you for so many years, so many years, let it build up. Instead of just getting you right now and let you do your little time. Tell exactly. You about it and then help you. They want to see you fall. They want to really see you crash like that. And then, then this man's daughter just lost her mom, ain't it? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, like, the police know that. Yep. They know that. They don't care about none of that, bro. They don't care. The feds don't care about none of that. So, my, hey, man, my advice to y'all, man, please don't let y'all y'all name get involved in gang culture. Oh, yeah. Because they Rico case are like crazy. They just they did it for the boys of New York, too. I feel like they're trying, they're trying to get young boy one. Oh, yeah. Young boy. Oh, they on the way, bro. Yeah, they're trying to they get already one. Um, building that case in. Um, Old Block just got raided a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago, too. Yep. So they're trying to take down Old Block. 4 p.m. Yeah, 4 p.m. Trying to get all of it. They're trying to get all of it. Word, bro. All right, man. Before we do close this thing out, though, bro, uh, what upcoming projects you got? What we can expect on the way? I got a single dropping this week. Uh, Rule Story. That's May 28th on all platforms. June. I got a big video shoot coming. I'm thinking pool party, dirt bikes, four wheelers, you feel me? All the bad bitches, everybody pop out, you did. All the real niggas bring, you, bring the bread out, you feel me? We going big on big on big all summer long. I got some more clothes dropping. I got some hats dropping this summer. And also, I got my little thing called One Take Athletic, you feel me? It's for the youth. So I'm doing a back to school bash August 6th. Make sure y'all pop out, you feel me? It's going to be everything you need. I got school supplies for all the kids coming soon. For sure, yeah. man. And let them all know we'll check you out again there, bro. One Take Reef, the number one T A K E R W E F. Day Day the Reef on Facebook. Let's do it. I'm just cruising down all right. Yeah. And I'm feeling yeah. all right. What? 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 And I'm feeling all